if you're looking to be a data scientist, what specific math and statistics courses would you recommend? For the math, the idea is that you want to be comfortable reading technical papers. These will teach you about new methods, whether it's in machine learning or causal inference or really any other space. So the first thing is obviously you're going to need calculus. You want to be able to take first order conditions. That's like derivatives, partial derivatives, set them equal to zero and get some sort of maximization or minimization. But sometimes these maximizations and minimizations are also constrained. So you want to be comfortable with some things that I believe get up to real analysis like Kuhn Tucker and Lagrangians. But essentially, calculus and real analysis should cover all of that. Then really important is anything that's like matrix algebra. So for example, you can solve for what the optimal betas would be in a linear regression by solving its x prime x, x prime inverse. And so you need to know matrix multiplication and also inverting matrices. And when you can do these things by hand, you can then really improve your intuition on, let's say, what happens when you add uh, an extra variable in there that has high multicollinearity with something else. So for example, maybe you have a regression where you're modeling college going, likelihood of college going on math SAT scores. Well, what's going to happen to the coefficient on math SAT scores when you put in verbal SAT scores, which may have a high correlation with the math? For statistics, at least with the fields that I've come across, I want statistics for experiment design and for linear regression. So you should be really comfortable with understanding like confounding variables and selection bias for linear regressions to sort of understand correlation and causation. And then on experiment design, you want to have a good sense of distributions, uh, hypothesis testing, and can you answer questions like if a stakeholder is comfortable with shifting the like p equals 0.05 is a threshold to p equals 0 0.10 how does that affect the sample size that you need to run an experiment and get statistically significant results so you don't want to be limited when you're doing a power calculation or power analysis to using online calculators to estimate your sample size you want to know what are all the things that underlie that calculation for how much sample and what's the runtime of this experiment to detect a certain effect. And there's probably a lot of other stuff that I'm missing, but those are the ones that really come to mind that I would use pretty regularly.